thousands of years. They've been fighting over this land and it's, no. What's going on here is political. Oh shit, that was a bullet. I don't know. More and more it became obvious that this was a calamity for Israel. They don't know what's going on on the ground and really they don't want to know. They want peace and quiet. They don't want peace and justice. You cannot occupy a nation for years and expect you will live in security. The easy thing to do is to point a finger and say, it's because of them. Instead of saying, it's never one-sided, and I am responsible too, and I will be accountable. I mean, I didn't even know that I was unaware. It's one of those things where you don't even know that you don't know. What, one of the things that, that, that changed my opinion about, about the area is going to Palestine and speaking to people, and all my stereotypes and my um, preconceived ideas um, being very seriously challenged. So now we're going into the West Bank, into Area C, which is under full Israeli control. Every red triangle on this map, this is a map of the, a large map of the West Bank, represents a permanent checkpoint. There are also hundreds of flying checkpoints. The uh, American so-called support, the American so-called pro-Israel bloc, with friends like that, we really don't need enemies. If it were true friendship, would say, hey, what the hell are you guys doing? Get out of there. So is tear gas usually the worst thing that happens? Or does no, the it's army... not the worst thing. The worst thing is, is a bullet in the head. In Berlin, it happens more often. In Berlin, it happens too. Jewish people came here to live in peace and um, the Arabs, you know, Arabs don't, don't know, do not want the Jews to live here. This is how things start. This is the basic element of uh, the Israeli narrative of the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. And the Jewish people who escaped, you know, the, the Holocaust and persecution in Europe and all of that, and said never again, they want to defend themselves. United States. Huh? United States. Dig a ditch, put barbed wire around it, have the Americans toss guns over the barbed wire to yourself, and then just hold tight. They are killing the normal life, and they are killing the people inside their homes, and they are talking about peace. Which peace are they talking about? We need someone to, to look at us, to, to see that, that we are human beings, actually like everybody else in this world. Don't listen what your government trying to feed your fear. There is a, an awakening. There is some kind of questioning going on in particular amongst young Jews. There is opposition, and we, whether you may not hear about it or not, to know that it's, it's very viable, it's very vibrant, and, it, and, it, and, it's, and, it, and it's not going away. Today I see that the Israeli activist term in Palestinian nonviolent resistance is so important because it gives hope to Palestinians it gives a proof to Palestinians that there is people on the other side believe in your right. Don't say that I am with the Palestinians or with the Israelis. Come and see, and you can judge issues on the ground. Don't believe all of what you hear. Come and see. OK, you don't accept this. But what do you do to make a difference? What is your life mean? if you don't try to make a change.